So today we're doing what you call, or what I would call, today we're cooking a pot of soup, right? No real order to this. What we're doing, we're just taking seasoning. We're just throwing our seasoning in there. I'm gonna throw some carrot in there. And you know, keeping with that summer vibe, right? So keeping with that summer vibe, what complements a cookout? than a nice pot of soup so throw some carrot in there throw some green peppers you know me i like that green peppers i like that green onion i like i like the flavor they give right i'm gonna put a onion a whole onion in there right and uh this soup that i'm making is consists of all seafood sea cat in there there's some conch it's gonna be in there lobster shrimp uh both type of shrimp some head-on shrimp in there there's also gonna be some mussels some clams in there right my garlic i'm not gonna chop my garlic you know, I don't like to chop my garlic. I like to just let them boil all the way. So, just throw a whole garlic in there, the whole thing, and then uh, just let that boil. I'm gonna put my seafood last, just cause the the type of seafood we're putting in there. I don't want them to, you know, boil out. So. I'm gonna throw some conk in there. You know conk's real expensive, right? So, you, and it's a little tougher than the other seafood. So, my conk, I'm just gonna. So I'm gonna throw my conk with my condiments and my seasoning, just cause it takes a longer time to cook. So that's why I'm putting the conk earlier than everything else. So, it's a nice piece of conk too, if you look at it, it's fresh. Well, on this side where I'm at, we get it frozen, but just the way it looks, you can see, it's a nice, nice piece of conk. I'm gonna put my flame back up to a high. And then my sea cat, I'm gonna put those in there too. I'll let those vibe. As I said, I'm not gonna cut them too small because I want them to. I want them to be visible. So I'm not gonna cut my sea cat too small. Then I'm gonna throw my corn and that other stuff right in there. Like my lobster, I'm gonna put last. My shrimp. I'm gonna put last. What I didn't tell is I'm gonna put a bunch of okra in there. I'm gonna put a whole pepper. And uh, I I washed all my uh, ingredients before, so you gotta remember to wash your ingredients. So I uh, I washed all my ingredients because I didn't wanna cut them and then having to go back to wash them. So. You're gonna remember to wash your ingredients. Very important. So, 
throw some corn in there and then you just want to let that boil once it starts boiling vibing you're good good to go there we go now I'm gonna put some pumpkin but let me take the skin off I'll leave the skin right on there not a cutting too small either just for this one so I'm gonna leave the skin right on my pumpkin and just for a vibe as I said I'm gonna leave everything on a bigger scale just because this soup is not based on the condiments and the season and that type of stuff it's based on the seafood so crazy chef we're cooking a pot of soup hit that like button if it's your first time here hit that red subscribe this is no regular pot of soup right in jamaica they say this is a rotted pot of soup so we'll take this flounder right not gonna skin it i'm just gonna scale it just gonna scale it wash it and then we're just gonna put it right in the pot just like that we're gonna take the insides out right we're gonna take this flounder scale it and we're just gonna take the inside out and put it right in there And if you've never seen a flounder, he only has one side. See that? It's like a half a fish. So just gonna scale a half a fish and then we're gonna put him right in our pot. Let him, so he's gonna be a part of the stock, part of the taste. And then we'll add the, we'll add the seafood as we go. Just like that, take the inside. So be careful all the way up all the way down not much to this guy not very much to this guy just take that shit out not bad but not much Take the gill out. So this part, right? You gotta be careful to so you just pop it, comes all the way out. Just like that. Then you just rip it from the head. Like that. We slide this out. Take your knife, that's it. All you gotta do now is in here, you just take this out, it comes right out. Then you just gotta wash, all right? Just wash it. Just gonna wash it. ready so now we're gonna take this giant fish and we're just gonna put it right in our pot just one more thing in this giant pot is a giant fish and we're just gonna let that vibe you know as I said the, the longest thing it's gonna take to cook is our conch and our sea cat and we want our fish to be up. So 
So I'm adding some more uh, scotch bonnet. Right, this time, what I do is I got scotch bonnet that's all uh, chopped. Look at that fish. Looks like all broken up, small pieces. So now, now it's coming along, right? Now add some shrimp in there. Right? As I said, we're making a large pot of soup in no order. Right? Manning these big guys in there. Big ass shrimp. Right in there. So we put these. Oh, it's trying to fall out. So we put those big guys in there, right? And then. Oh yeah, that looks good. You see that? That looks good. I'm gonna take this guy, right? And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this off, right? Throw that in there. We're gonna throw that in there. We're gonna take his body off. Right there. Need his legs in there. This part we don't need. So then we're gonna take his body. Open it up. Okay. Take that off. Uh, and we're just gonna throw him in there with the shell. Then we're just gonna let that vibe. So we're gonna let that vibe for a while. Then we'll come back. I think pretty soon we're gonna add our mosses or clams and what I didn't say is I didn't tell you we're gonna put king crabs in there so we're gonna add our king crabs right in there crazy chef if you haven't hit that like button as yet hit that like button if it's your first time here hit that red subscribe button because we do things like these all the time This is a very, very expensive pot of soup. If you haven't figured that out by now. Between the crib crabs, the lobster, a whole flounder, fresh, the crabs, head on shrimp, conch, sea cat. It's a whole vibe. Right? I'm gonna add some mussels right in there. And the mussels and the clams is just gonna give it a whole different type of bar. So if you're looking for a good pot of soup, this seafood soup recipe is the soup for you. Shrimp, scallop, 
lobster, king crab, conch, and okra. Crazy Chef, big vibe.